Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Negi and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about how to make drawing of a part in PTC Creo Parametric. This is the first video of Creo drawing series. In the whole series, we will cover many aspects and features offered in Creo drawing. In this first video, we will see how to make manual dimension and place isometric and projection views. So before we start drawing, let's create a basic part of which we will create the drawing. So let's get started. Click on new. Select desired template. Click OK. Now quickly I will make a small part so that we can focus on our main area. Here is the rectangle and let me make it 500. 250, 300, and 150. And let's give it a certain height. Now let me give it a hole. And I want to give two reference. Let's make a die of 30 and 150 from here. Let's make it 80 and quickly mirror it and let me just select them both and mirror again. Now let's provide chamfer. The size of the chamfer too here as well. chamfer along all corners and let me provide chamfer here as well. So my part is ready. Now in order to create drawing you need to click on new then select drawing. Then here you need to select the template. So just uncheck this option. You can give it a name. Let's say example DWZ. Now click OK. Now here you need to select the template or format. Uh, I haven't created any template. Uh, most of the time we generally select the format. Template is useful when we create a same type of parts. Let's say uh, your company is making same kind of part, then you can define a template. We can discuss about template in another video, but this is the basic drawing tutorial. So I will be just using a format. So we're gonna choose the second option, empty with format. And here we need to select our format. After selecting format, you need to click okay. Now here you can see we, we are now in drawing mode. And the first thing you need to do is you need to place your isometric view here. For that, you need to click here in general view, and then click OK, then select the location. Don't worry if you haven't placed it correctly because we can move the position later on. Now from here, you can select the desired orientation. In this particular case, I am selecting the standard orientation, which you can change from here. So I'm keeping it isometric and now you need to click OK. Now you need to click here on lock view movement so that you can place it wherever you want. After you have defined the place, go back again and click here, lock view movement. Now you cannot move the view from its position. Now one more thing I want to do, I want to change view style to hidden view. So again, I will make a double click and then I will go to view display. And from here, I need to select display style and instead of follow environment, just select the hidden and click apply. You can zoom in and zoom out how your part look like. Now again, 
if this is not your preferred style then you can choose from no hidden to shading depending on your need feel free to play with these option to get the desired output now i will click okay now again i will click on general view then again okay and now i will create two projection view by default i am using third angle projection if you want to know how to set the projection type then please visit the creo drawing setting videos that you can find here in the cards as well as in the description down below now after you press the general view again select no combined state and press okay now click here anywhere now from here we will select the top view after you select top view again go to view display and select option hidden click apply go back again to scale define the scale value i am going to define it half so i will be entering 0.5 then click okay now here you can see the part exceed the template area so i will make the custom scale value to 0.3 again apply and this time you can see the part is within the template now i will click okay and again i will reposition it its place now because we have locked the view movement so i will unlock it now i will place this plate in desired position after that i will delete this scale value because i don't want to show it but if you want to uh, show the scale value then you can keep it now the next thing i want to do is i want to create a projection view of it so i will click here in projection view then i will select this parent view which is top view after you make a left click just move your mouse cursor down without pressing any button and then press left click and here we go now here we can see we have successfully placed the bottom view now again double click go to view display and from here select hidden apply and okay after we successfully placed views again i will lock the view movement now the next thing i want to do is i want to locate these axes for that i will select these both views and go to annotate tab here so model annotation then you need to select this last option and select all because i want to show the axis of all holes you may choose one by one like this i want to select all so i will be selecting all now click okay let's say i want to expand the length of this axis so i will select any of them and we'll make it like this this indicate that the distance from this edge of these both holes are same now as we know uh, these holes are symmetric so what else i can do i can place a symmetry line here as well now in order to create a symmetry what we are going to do we will go back to part and here we will select axis and then select this face and from here i will enable the plane display and again make a right click select offset reference and press control select upper face and this plane make these values 0 and 0 and press okay now again go back click on view window example drawing let's go back again to annotate so model annotation select the view and select this axis click okay and we have this symmetry line 
Now we will be placing dimension. One tip I want to give you is the best way to dimension the object and to avoid any dimension error is that you should dimension your product uh, based on how this product is going to get manufactured. For example, if I am giving this part to get manufactured, what are the dimension that exactly is required to get this part manufactured? Again, I will start dimensioning. So click on dimension, then click on the axis, then press control, click on another axis, then simply move your cursor and then press the mouse scroll wheel to place the dimension. Now here you can see we have successfully placed one dimension. I think I need to move the position of this part a little bit. Again, I will go back to annotate and place dimension from this point to this point. Again, don't forget to press control and simply press the mouse scroll wheel to place the dimension. In order to show symmetry, what actually I can do, I simply will cross this phantom line over the distance between hole. I don't know uh, exactly in your area or in your country, but we can show the symmetry like this. This signifies that the hole are symmetric. Similarly, I can make dimension between these holes. Toward this direction. And let me meet this as well. In this way, we have successfully located all our holes. The next dimension that we need to show is the length of my block. Again, I will click on dimension. Then I will select this edge and the other edge. Now, again, press middle click and here we go. Now again, you can adjust them according to your need. Now, as you can see in this drawing, the two views are sufficient enough to specify all the features that are with this plate. So here, what I'm going to show is the thickness of this plate, which is 15. So here I can show the chamfer value. In order to show the chamfer, what we can do, we can select the dimension and select these two points. and can show the value like this. One thing I want to share with you, please try to uh, keep as much edge dimension outside the part rather than placing inside, which means that you should not place the dimension inside the part. You should always place the dimension outside the part. Now here I want to show chamfer too. So what I can do, uh, I can click on it and then I can go here and then I want to select parallel and above the leader so that it will come like this. Now one more thing I would like to add here is the dimension text. I want to add C as a prefix which signify that this is a chamfer. And then here I want to show that this is 45 degree as well as this is typical. So I'll write TYP. Which signifies that, that, that this chamfer value is universal. 
and here we can see the space is too less so what actually we can do we can delete this chamfer and we can show the chamfer in this direction Now again go back to dimension text and type C here into 45 and here typical again we can make this dimension as parallel and above leader So the only thing that got left is the dimension of the hole. What we can do, we can click again to dimension and can select this hole. Now here you can see it is the radius which is coming. So what we will do, we will make a right click and select diameter. Now we can place it like this. Remember if you are working with older version, let's say Creo 2.0 or Creo 1.0, then in that scenario, what you need to do, you need to again select dimension and make a double click. Now you can see automatically the diameter will come. Then you can again place it wherever you want by pressing scroll wheel. Now again, we will click on this dimension and we'll select this option to flip the arrow to show the value is equal what we can do is again we will go back to dimension text and we will type here four dash which signifies that these all holes are of diameter 30. If you want to add some text then you can click here on annotate and note and can place text. Now we can save this drawing and can have a printout of it. So in order to have a PDF printout, you can go to save as and then quick export as a PDF, click on it. And here we have got this PDF. Here you can see the object line is too thick. In order to fix this, I have make a video that you can find out here on the upper right corner as well as in the link down below. So that's all guys in this video of how to create a simple part drawing in PTC Creo environment. If you have any doubts or any question then please do let me know in comment down below and don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel to see such kind of tutorial and I will see you soon in my next video till then take care and bye bye.